in this video we are going to learn how to make your model print ready in zbrush so for making a model print ready there are few things you have to keep in mind first is your model should be watertight it cannot have any holes in it second thing is there should not be any artifacts or unwanted mesh inside your objects it should be hollow from inside and third one is like while you are making keys shrink the male key a bit so that it can fit properly in female key so with that information let's proceed to make it print ready i am using my head plane sculpt as you can see i have two meshes first is the base and second is the head so i'm gonna start by making the shape like this i want head shape to be like this right now if i go in solo in head you can see it's like this but i have to make it like this so it I'll, when i place the key here it will fit in the base so the easiest way i can see here is to subtract this base from the head so it have this shape we want so we're gonna do exactly the same we're gonna first of all turn on live boolean and set this base to subtract so now you can see we have that shape but it's it's going inside so we have to delete this after making it a boolean object so first of all we have to make it a boolean object go to boolean make boolean mesh now you can find it here in your quick pick and when you append it you can see we have this head with boolean operated on this so it doesn't matter you turn live boolean on or off for this one so if we go to if you press shift f in our keyboard you can see this bottom part has different polygroups and we have to delete it so we can hold ctrl shift and click on it and invert the selection and just delete hidden so that got deleted now we have to fill this hole it's viewing like this because we don't have doubles turn on in our display properties you can turn that on from here yeah we have to fill this hole now so we have to go to geometry modify topology and close holes you can see now we have the head the way we want it but while play, before placing keys we have to do we have to extrude the base of it a little bit so that it will help in placing keys and making it smooth so we're gonna do it right now like just control shift and select this base again mask it unhide the rest of the head and go to edge loop and you have to click in on this but I'll show you what happens uh, when you click on this. I'll just zoom in. Look at this border line, okay? When you click on edge loop mask border, see it will create a border with different polygroups on the edge of the masked mesh. So we have masked this because we have to create edge of different polygroup there. Now you can click it one more time. I like to have at least two or maybe three edge loops between my head and my base of the head so now scale it only the base because the rest of the head is not not masked so we have to invert the mask and we have turned on gizmo by pressing w now you have to place this gizmo in center of this base so this is there is then a third icon you have to press alt and click on this so it will now be in the center of this unmasked region we have inverted the mask remember guys see now we can scale it down and pull it a bit let me turn on this view so it will be visible yes so we have to make it somewhat like this it will be the border of the key so yeah now you can see the edges of this extruded region is very sharp we have to smooth it we are gonna do it by using sculptress pro so you can turn it on and then start smoothing the edge of this yeah now you can unmask all the head 
now you can see we have the head with this extruded part now we can check it it fits properly yeah it does okay now let's go ahead and make a key so for making the key i'll use insert mesh brush and i'm gonna use okay this is not the one wait uh, i'll use this one imm primitives yeah and, and i'm gonna use q cube because it have less edge loops and we have to delete all the edge loops inside this cube the key basically so we place it here then adjust it according to our need I think this will be this will be a good key now let's split this cube from this head because we don't want it to be a part of the head we want it to be a separate mesh so split mask points now if we go to polyface mode you can see it has some edge loops so we're gonna delete this by using Z modeler brush and we're gonna change its setting to delete edge loop split. Now we can delete its edge loops. Now you can see this is a cube with no edge loops in between. Now what we can do, we can mask its uh, upper points and just scale it down so it will have a little taper in it. Uh, but first of all, let's yeah let's scale it down so it will have a little taper in it so basically this is our key just a little bit taper you want it to be yeah this is our key let's hide this space for a moment this is our key now we have to first of all we have to subtract this key from this base so this base has a whole layer of the shape of the key and we have to union it to the head. So let's do this. First of all, I'm gonna sub make this key to subtract and I'm gonna place it here. Yeah. And now let's wait. Something weird is happening with this. Okay, I'm gonna place the key down and put it to subtract. Yeah, now you can see this base has this. We can adjust this base a little bit. So the key here fits more. And this is live boolean so yeah we can adjust this base without affecting any of the other things yeah now it's fine yeah, now i'm happy with this let's check it once with our head if it's not fitting properly we have to make it fit properly there yeah okay now we can so this is our key now we are happy with this so we're gonna go to again boolean and make boolean mesh now this is also gonna be in here in quick pick so we have to append this one and hide this this is our final base with the key in it now we cannot change any in this we this is the final base okay we have to uh, we're gonna print this base uh. now let's go to our head we have to add key here also this is our key now before boolean before applying boolean to it with union of course to the head we have to shrink it a bit so it can fit the female key properly this is the male key the one in the base we have it's called female key so let's go to deformation inflate i'm giving it a value of negative four basically negative four or five value works properly it's uh, basically a trial and error method guys so after this 
let's go back to our sub tool and set it to union for this head and then again make boolean mesh and we can find it here and now hide this key and hide this head also now we have these two meshes like with keys in it as you can see we can check it this is the head with this key in it ready for printing and there's this base with female key in it ready for printing too you can do one more thing like you can go to trim dynamic brush select trim rectangle and trim the base from below to make it a flat surface so it will print easily so yeah you can export these two as an obj and send it to your printer for print mm -hmm.